Good morning, everybody. It is a rainy Monday, but we are still back with another episode of Core Wellness TV, and it's interesting. I'm Dr. Steve, by the way, uh, and it's interesting that a rainy Monday kind of can put your mind set in a gloomy state. And it's important to understand that this whole idea of reversing the cross posture syndrome of unhealthy aging, like I always talk about, is very much in line with not only your the way you sit all day you know that you can sit all day long and then your your body's going to conform to you know that unhealthy posture um, you, it also comes from that's that's physical stress but it also can come from nutritional stress where uh, maybe your sugar goes up real high and then it bottoms out real low and your body starts shaking and it releases cortisol from your adrenal glands and you have a stress reaction or your insulin goes up because of, a, of you ate something sweet or you ate some kind of an animal product that, that raised your insulin levels. Doesn't matter. Insulin creates a, a, a fight or flight response in your body. Especially when it's a, a large amount of it gets flooded into the system. It's a sympathetic hormone. So you can see a nutrition can drive you into that same pattern. Remember, that pattern of cross posture syndrome is the draw forward. It's the stress pattern. It's the protection pattern. It's the defense. It's the old aging pull yourself along pattern. So nutrition. And the last piece, of course, is has to do with the rainy Monday, and that's the thought. You think a thought of stress, what happens to your body? You go, oh, great, I'm stressed. No, you go, oh, I'm stressed. And then what happens? Your jaws start to clench, and you, your shoulders start to shrug. Your, your, your shoulders go into your ears. Uh, your, your knees start coming together. And you notice that sometimes if you just sit there, and you notice that sometimes your adductors or your groin muscles are kind of activated unbeknownst to you and you have to consciously let them, let them relax. If your body is buzzing like that, which most of our bodies are buzzing, okay, there's a buzz in the central nervous system that causes this stress reaction. The goal with this whole thing is to create peace and growth and renewal. And automatically when you have that feeling of peace, growth, renewal, expansion in your mind, guess what happens to your body? Ah, I feel better. What happens to your body automatically? Whew, I feel like I feel like springing away. I feel like pushing away. And when you do that, you don't let gravity get you. When you're stressed, you get in a position where your head goes too far forward, your gravity line is here, and gravity can grab you and pull you down. But when you are perfectly in line with the gravity, from the center of the earth, when you are perfectly in line with that, that gravity comes down through you, you recycle it, use it in your body for spring. You use it in your body to do the activities of daily living. You use it to make expressions of joy and gratitude. You use it to create a fulfilling life. So uh, my take home point here is, I started with the mental thing and end with the mental thing, is that use the low parts of your life. Okay, there's, there's going to be low parts, there's going to be rainy days, there's going, to be, uh, there's going to be deaths, there's going to be sickness, there's going to be illness, there's going to be stress, there's going to be financial stress, there's going to be marital stress, there's going to be kid stress, there's going to be relationship stress, there's all that stress. And it's going to drag you down, it's going to want to drag you down. Okay, but you have to use those instances, be thankful for the stresses, be thankful for the falls, be thankful for the things that drag you down because those are the are your signals to come back out of it. So be thankful for them. Don't stay in them. Don't wallow in them. And by, for goodness sakes, don't brag about them and drag people into that. Use them as your way out. Okay? That's all for today. Please, I'd love to see you join us in the Institute. And I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.